Nimbus is an extension in the Chrome Web Store that's used for capturing your screen. Um, it can do a screenshot. It can do an annotated screenshot. It can even do screencasts, but I don't use it for that. I use Screencastify. Um, but I do love Nimbus for annotating screenshots. I'm going to give you a few examples to show you how I use this with teachers and with students. Um, the first one is one that I actually used for um, trying to explain to students what these buttons add and create do in Google Classroom. Um, one of the um, one of the nice things about this is that Nimbus and annotating screenshots in general let you um, show different menus and then explain them to students or explain the steps. So for instance, um, I posted a lot of documents like Jennifer has here with the tutorial sign up, but I didn't always have the students create their own documents. So to kind of ease them into that step, I can use Nimbus. I'm going to go up to the Nimbus extension icon here and I'm going to choose visible part of page, um, which is the, the option here. I, even though there are another eight or nine options, this is the one I generally use. Um, so I'm going to choose that, which takes a screenshot of everything that was on the screen, which you can see here. Um, lots of tools do screenshots. There are even keystrokes on just about every computer you can use to take a screenshot. The power of Nimbus for me is the annotation tools. So right now I can um, use arrows. I can put text on the screen. So if I wanted to say, hey, students, look over here, um, and then just write a quick blurb about why am I drawing your attention to this? I can say, you know, click uh, create, then choose drawings. I'm just going to move this over actually onto the screen. So now the students know, okay, so down here there's a create button. They can't actually see it in this screenshot, so I might have a second one. Um, but they can see this is where it happens. And when they come and actually follow these instructions, they have a little more confidence that they know what they're doing, they know what to expect. Um, and even, even if I don't add another screenshot, when they get here, they'll see the button that says create, and then they'll know to click it and choose drawings. Um, so for students who they don't love text instructions, uh, it's very challenging to write fully text instructions for technology skills. Um, so these annotated screenshots are a nice stage kind of between just typing up the text and doing a full on screencast or video to show students these skills. If it's just something simple like this, I wouldn't necessarily make a video, but I would want the kids to have a visual. Um, so that's one example. Another one is um, something I'm going to show you here in MCAS. Sorry if that causes stress for people. Um, but I wanted to show my teachers um, how they add their sessions. So I can actually click Add a Session. I started to type in one of our teachers' names. And I'm now going to take a screenshot in this current state. Um, so again, I go to the um, Nimbus icon in my extensions bar here. And there are lots of tools here. Sometimes I'll use the entire page tool. That will actually take a screenshot and scroll down to take a screenshot of the entire web page. Um, sometimes that's useful. They even have a screencast tool. But like I said, I, I rarely use these tools. I just take a shot of what I have on the screen here. And now I'm going to show you a couple of new tools. Um, first, I can actually number the steps that I want the teachers to do. So I'm going to put a one next to this add a session button. And by now the teachers know I don't have to actually put text in there that says click the add a session button. I just drop the number one there and they know, right, click there. Um, number two, which I can, I can just click again here. Um, so I've, I've hit this sort of numbering button. And if I put a number two here, I can actually um, add some text to say, Type your last name. And so they know that number two is to type their last name. I'm going to give them another visual cue here to make sure they know exactly where that goes. Oh, that's an enormous arrow. Let's see if I can make that a little smaller. Um, so number two is to type your name. I'm going to go back to this numbering tool. 
and it remembers where I was in the numbering. So I'm going to say number three is this something everybody who does this forgets to do. So I'm going to uh, remind them to check a box. And then number four is, is an easy one. Um, so I'm going to go back to my number and just have them click the add select a button. So um, now I can add uh, text instructions if I, if I need to. But if I just drop this into a document with some other things that they need to know about MCAS, they can e easily, especially have the first time or two, this might not be the, the easiest thing to do um, for me to create, but also for them to follow. Um, but after the first couple of times, now people, students and teachers, they kind of know how to follow my logic <laughs> in these diagrams. Um, the last example is one of the ways I think I use this most often with students is kind of evidence that they've done some task, some assignment. So in this case, I might have my students actually do this diagram. This is a great online tool. Um, I can have the kids drop in um, whichever these um, these answers are. I can have them actually check to see are those answers right. And then in the end, there is a submit button here, but maybe I don't want my students to all have to register for an account on the Science Learning Hub and have to track that and keep their passwords. Um, and maybe I only want to use it for this one tool. So instead of going through all that, I'm just going to have them complete this and then I'm going to have them take a screenshot of it. So they can, we've installed this on the student Chromebooks, so they can come up. Um, they can do selected area, and they can select the portion of the page that shows me that they've done this whole thing successfully. And they can either save it as a, an image to post into Google Classroom, or I might ask them, like, hey, you could have just gotten this from a friend who did it once and emailed it to all their friends. So I want you to go in and actually um, put your initials on yours so that I know it was you. Can do this in just about any stage of online work. So if a kid's supposed to watch a video, um, answer some questions, if they're if they're supposed to um, click through something, I might say, hey, when you get to the last step in this process, take a screenshot, show me that you made it all the way to the end, and submit that image onto Google Classroom. Again, the first time or two is tricky, but once they've done it a few times, this is very easy for them. It also helps as the technology coach, it helps um, students and teachers send me an image of something that might be going wrong on their computer. So instead of them trying to explain it or me asking a million questions um, or them kind of misquoting the error message, they can just send me a screenshot and I can see exactly what's happening on their computer. So it's a good skill for them to have as well. So that's Nimbus screenshot. Um, again, it's in the Chrome web store. It's an extension. And I use it all the time.